You may not remember the TV show The Catch. It didn't earn major ratings, and it lasted only two seasons on ABC, but it is worth dwelling on for one reason lead actress Marae Enos's eyelashes. What? They're long, dark, and dramatic. New York Magazine called them the best eyelashes on TV, maybe ever. They're also completely fake. False eyelashes have been a Hollywood makeup trade secret for decades now, but lately they've gotten bolder and more noticeable on TV and in movies. Like honestly, someone needs to bless that bitch. When did every actress start wearing fake eyelashes, and how can you spot the difference? The Kardashians deserve some credit for popularizing fake eyelashes. They, along with other reality stars, have taken false lashes from special occasion only to everyday item. <laughs> Social media, particularly YouTube makeup tutorials, also increased the visibility of fake eyelashes. Due to these and more factors, false eyelash sales grew 75% between 2012 and 2017, according to the Washington Post. And Pinterest recently identified false eyelashes as 2018's biggest beauty trend. And so our entertainment has responded by pumping up the volume. In reality, makeup artists told me, actresses have always worn fake eyelashes on TV and in movies. Just about every female character you see on screen is wearing them. That's been true for a long time. Just take a look at Rita Hayworth in her heyday, when her lashes became one of her on-screen trademarks. Women enhance their eyelashes because the longer and darker one's lashes are, the more the eye stands out and looks bigger and more open. At the same time, the longer and lesser lashes become, the higher the chances they will look noticeably fake. Sharice and I had a long conversation, and not one time did she bring up anything about this. And that's the real difference here. Fake eyelashes have become more noticeable, and sometimes more ridiculous. The reason is brinksmanship. If celebrities, social media stars, and regular people are wearing bigger eyelashes more and more in their daily lives, that raises the stakes for TV. This can lead to problems. Lately, I've detected over-the-top falsies on all kinds of shows where, for character reasons, the actresses should not be wearing them. Falsies don't make a ton of sense for doctors, nurses, or policewomen characters. And characters who are just waking up. Who sleeps in a full eye look? Makeup artists told me that it's not uncommon for actresses to be adamant about wearing false lashes, even after being advised against them. So how do you spot fake lashes? Try to look for moments when the camera goes tight on an actress's face and she's looking down or to the side. Look for that too perfect little swoop shape. In this scene from Younger, for example, Hilary Duff's lashes are so lush and thick you can hardly look away, and glimpses from the side are a dead giveaway that there's some enhancement going on. Sutton Foster's lashes have a bit extra oomph as well, but they're more subtle. Contrast that with this scene where Elizabeth Moss's character joins a new household on The Handmaid's Tale. Society requires her to dress modestly, so false eyelashes would be out of the question and a noticeable distraction. When we see a side angle of Moss, her eyelashes look short and sparse compared with most of what we see on screen. May God make me truly fuzzy. False eyelashes. Just another big little lie of television and movies. But now when you notice them, you won't bat an eyelash. <laughs>